So we're uh, finishing off our uh, series on Teleworker Pro, and we covered the Verizon Gateway the last time um, uh, a few weeks ago, and we are going to follow up with a short little summary on the AT&T Gateway, which we think is an absolutely superior device uh, and platform. So. Um, it is probably a better router than uh, what most of you use uh, in your business um, and it certainly can function without the uh, Cisco ISR which we have uh, below. So we're not going to cover the Cisco uh, platform but we are going to cover uh, the AT&T Gateway which you see here. Now the first thing about the AT&T Gateway as you'll notice is that on the back it has four Ethernet ports, uh, a broadband connection, and um, it uh, also has uh, an interior coax uh, system so that if you have supporting hubs uh, that, that support coax extensions, um, the gateway can actually drive a signal uh, on a on a coax system uh, at four or five times the distances that you usually get with standard uh, twisted pair uh, Ethernet cabling. So um, it is a very interesting gateway in that you could really put it on the edge of the property and then drive extensions, uh, like I said, through through the coax. So uh, that makes it good for warehouses and things that have longer runs. Uh, but anyway, back to the software. Uh, what we're looking at here is just a standard web interface. <coughs> the AT&T Gateway uh, gets bundled uh, to the high order um, IP address. So it, it always ends on the 254 by default. Um, this system is designed um, to go to 1.254 uh, but I had the Verizon gateway as well so I put Verizon on 1.154 or 254 and uh, AT&T I moved subnets to 2.54 uh, uh, by uh, uh, the Teleworker Pro standard so um, in any event, uh, this is the main uh, screen. Uh, on the main screen, you get a over general overview of your network connections, the battery. Uh, in this case, I do have my circuit down at the present time, so uh, it does show that. Um, and it gives you uh, quick restart uh, buttons for everything so that you can uh, get back in order. So at and is pretty fancy like that. Um, it also shows you uh, the devices that are connected uh, both through Ethernet and through uh, Wi-Fi and you can in fact give the the, uh, the devices all a name so uh, as you go through that you uh, you can get a little more detail. On the services tab uh, you have voice and Ethernet. Um, we're not running uh, any voice services right now so the two port um, video voice services that are available on this gateway uh, is currently disabled uh, but it is password protected so you can't really do any harm uh, on the front page but you can reboot the router uh, without being an administrator uh, but once you um, once you get the gateway configured, you can go in and provision your lines um, and you can go to the settings, which is all the networking capabilities. So uh, this is a PACE PLC gateway. It's the default one for AT&T. Um, it's running new code um, and it has a battery backup capability if uh, you want to add that. Um, on the broadband side, this is where uh, you get your connectivity to AT&T. Uh, it will show you the internet and DSL connections, uh, which are separate. Your DSL can be up and your internet down. Uh, so it does give you uh, uh, status bars there. 
Um, and when you get an IP address from AT&T, it does show you uh, all the fields uh, right on this on this main broadband screen. Um, you can tune uh, the connection uh, to increase uh, the padding on the circuit. Uh, so it's pretty fancy uh, what you can do with the DSL. Um, and you can also look at errors uh, and other alarms that, that go with standard um, uh, telecom infrastructure. Uh, you can bundle more than one DSL line together. Um, and so you can get uh, on the AT&T side two DSL lines and put them together into a faster link. Uh, we call that multi-link PPP on the IP side, but in this case AT&T has their own DSL uh, standards. Um, on the LAN side, um, it does have the option to configure the private network. Again, I moved this block to 2.254. And you can get it a block from AT&T. I have bought additional um, IP addresses from them. And uh, so they have given me this uh, 45 block uh, with the 248 mask. And I can assign those IP addresses to any host that I'm using on the network. Now the interesting thing about this platform is that uh, you can sub-10 virtual, virtual machines uh, coming off the back of the gateway uh, ports and give sub interfaces their own uh, IP address through DHCP uh, so it's quite fancy how they do the IP address uh, allocation which is why I think this router is even much better than uh, a standard Cisco configuration as it allows you to do everything through a graphical interface um, so AT&T has uh, spent a lot of time and money on this but um, along with the standard network connectivity uh, this this box also has a built-in Wi-Fi system uh, it supports uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz radios um, and you can have different passwords and different SSIDs uh, for guest access and for your business so uh, this is a uh, fancy uh, system so I'm not going to go through uh, the rest of the configuration. Um, I do want to show you though uh, that the LAN IP address allocation comes out of your block. And so when you have uh, machines that are connecting up through the system, um, you can essentially pick from the pool or any of the public addresses that you have uh, and assign those to any device. So this is where you can get very elaborate with using uh, sort of DMZ networks. So the design for Teleworker Pro will go over uh, at another point in time. It'll require some diagrams. Uh, but this is sort of the root of what we're doing. Um, both AT&T and Verizon do offer IP address allocation and you can do it to not just physical interfaces but also to sub interfaces which is the first time I've ever seen that uh, with a premise router uh, without a special uh, network configuration. It does have an advanced firewall on the platform that faces upstream to AT&T. Um, you also can get a network firewall from AT&T and sort of uh, do a double layer and build your own DMZs from it. Um, it does allow you to do application or entire ports um, and you can get very granular with the firewall controls. Uh, again, we could probably spend a few hours on that alone. Uh, it does have logs and diagnostics. Um, and all in all, this is the best router in the marketplace. Uh, I'm very happy with AT&T and my service. Uh, it's always been good. So uh, just a short uh, configuration on Teleworker Pro. Again, uh, the reason I have the Cisco uh, ISR here is I am providing a gateway service from my LAN side uh, and my two network gateways. Uh, and this is a 2900 series that has three uh, upstream uh, uh, network interfaces. So I have three Ethernets public 
So I can have uh, Spectrum, AT&T, and Verizon to my premise, run BGP on all three. Um, and then I have an eight port uh, ethernet card uh, off the back of the ISR that uh, is connected for specialty devices, including my IP phones um, and two internal LAN subnets. So uh, that's pretty much the networking configuration here today. Uh, thank you much, very much for your time.